As Robert and Robert say, you've been yump. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about, but that is just mean. That's what makes it so deliciously entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> you're just gonna take that? Why, I yump him right in the. No, no, no. It's all part of the great tradition of Yanni Yump a lot day. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> This is Yanni Yumpalot? No, but it's a fantastic example of his work. I'm such a cutie. What a beauty! Cat patootie! Okay. Yanni didn't carve this. These are the three trappers who captured him. Yanni's the great spirit who helped create the entire Kookamonga. Brain Freeze, Mount Kaboom, the Wet Wally. I got it. But why'd he turn these guys into a totem pole? He has a great he sense has a of really humor. Bad temper. Humor. Temper. Is not. Is too. Not. Agree to disagree. Done. <laughs> guys, stay with me here. Sorry. <laughs> okay. When the trappers caught Yanni, they gave him the biggest wedgie <laughs> ever so that he'd grant them three wishes. Which he did. But after they set Yanni free, he cursed the trappers and turned them into this. Oh, oh hush. But here's the fun part. Every year we celebrate Yanni's trickster spirit and his great gift of the kook by yumping each other. Translation, we play practical jokes on each other. Cool. You must be the yump champ the way your mind works. <laughs> <laughs> Jiggers? No, he's the master yumpy. Oh, like the time when... <sighs> huh? Ah! You've been yump! <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> come kill. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <sighs> Always a yum pee, never a yum purr. Periscopes, get your periscopes. Don't let the crowd ruin your view. <laughs> this is awesome. What happens now? Watch. Hear ye, hear ye, oh citizens of. Moose Knuckle, do ye knowest what day it is? Yanni Yumpalot Day! And what does that mean? Practical <laughs> jokes! Now, just to go over the rules, no using squid ink with peanut butter, no spelunking while yodeling. Wow! Amazing! What? Behind you, look! <gasps> Yanni? Yanni Yumpalot? Yes. Tis more, old pig, in the silly outfit. For years, I have observed you make light of my illustrious... illustriousness. You demean my... demeanor with your silly shenanigans for shame. But, but we thought... You thought wrong. Unless you pay homage to me in an appropriate manner, I shall transmogrify you all into a totem that will make the great Bamzini look like a twig. Is that clear? Yes, your, uh, yumpiness. But exactly what appropriate manner do you have in mind? That's for me to know and for you to find out. For us to find out? It was so spiritual. Grumpy, but spiritual. Yeah, but what is the deal with those boxer shorts? Hey, 
If anyone knows Yanni Yump a lot, it's the great Bamzini. Oh, great Bamzini, wisdom provider for all of Moose Knuckle and most of the Kukamanga, what does Yanni Yump a lot want from us? It's the stuff that has been the one that was seen with the chompers that gleam. That <laughs> made no sense. Hmm, the stuff that has been. I think that means ancient history and chompers that gleam. Jiggers! Huh? What? Because I have excellent dental hygiene? It means nothing. Your guide on the history of the kook. That's where the answer is. <laughs> uh, nothing. Hmm. Okay, we know what he doesn't want. Practical jokes. So maybe we should do the opposite. Impractical jokes? Think. We're dealing with a dude who wears his underwear on the outside. Pretty unique. That's it. Everyone, find a unique, creative way to honor Yanni Yumpalot and hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Call on Yanni Yampalot, trickster spirit. Yoo-hoo! I have returned to see how you've chosen to pay homage to me. Begin! Uh, for you, oh great and tricky spirit. A unique performance piece dedicated to your unique... Uh, uniqueness. That unique? Ah! I call it a bad imitation of music that's been out of style for 20 years. Next! <laughs> Art, as they say, is anything you can get away with, but not this time! Be gone! Cast your eyes to that knoll over yonder. <laughs> A synchronized ballet to celebrate the wonder of the coop and the great spirit who created it. <laughs> Not bad. If you like that sort of thing, I, however, find synchronized ballet rather... jejun. All of you, prepare to be transmogrified into a giant totem pole. Uh, no, wait. We, we can do better, but please give us more time. You've got ten minutes! <sighs> ten minutes. Any ideas? Mm, yeah. Ask for another ten minutes. Could we be overreacting? I mean, this is a spirit who wears his underwear on the outside. Maybe if we look on the bright side. Cut the new age drivel. There is no bright side. Well, he does keep mentioning a giant totem pole. Is that anything? Brilliant. Of all the things Yanni's supposed to have made, the Bamzini's the one we know of for sure, right? Right. OK, then let's turn ourselves into the biggest totem pole ever. All right, but uh, I can't be on top, you know, because of the heights. Well, you direct us. You're great at all that logistics type stuff. Done. Let's go. And remember, underwear on the outside. We don't want to take any chances. That's it. Careful. Big guy's on the bottom. There you go. Keep it moving. Time is Yanni. Hey, watch your hand. OK, Zoo. Let me get in position. Uh, uh, so? How do we look? 
like the world's tallest totem pole. Great! Should we summon Yanni now? Yeah! I checked the guide again and found this. Repeat after me. You've, You've been, been yapped! Yapped! Yeah. What? 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 Say yak, cheese. <laughs> Why? Because you've all been young. Finally, who the beaver? I the beaver. And by projecting the light, I was able to summon the great Yanni Yumpalot. <laughs> no one's going to forget this practical joke for a long time. You can count on that, because... I'm building a frame and putting it on display in the town square. You know, Yanni Yumpalot Day is not officially over till sundown. We have three minutes left. So? So, prepare to be 